What's going down, our faithful, and to everybody? Uh, whoa, what's going on, our faithful, and to everybody watching this video? Um, doesn't matter if you're a Niners fan, you could be any fan of any team. But coming back with some uh, more breaking NFL news segments, we know I covered every NFL firing that happened today on my channel earlier. So if you guys want to hear my thoughts on those, just go to my channel, scroll down, and you'll see it on there. Um, I covered the Adam Gase firing, Dirk Ketter firing, um, Vance Joseph firing, Marvin Lewis. And there was one more, I think. Oh, and Steve Wilkes covered, um, so pumped out five videos um, of all the firings that went down today. So if you guys haven't watched those videos, make sure you guys go in the description. Well, not in the description, it won't be linked, but go on my channel and click on whichever one you want to watch and you guys can hear my thoughts on that. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the Atlanta Falcons, who went 7-9 and nine this year um, in the AFC, or in the NFC South, and did not make it to the playoffs. Now, this is my take. I think, before I get into any of my thoughts on the firings they did, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that when Kyle Shanahan left the Atlanta Falcons uh, to come to the San Francisco 49ers, my Niners, in 2016, well, into 2017, um, what I think is the Atlanta Falcons, they talked about it, they signed uh, Steve Sarkisian or Sarkisian or however you pronounce that name, Steve Sarkisian, Sarkisian or whatever, I think it's Steve Sarkisian, but when when Kyle Shanahan left the Atlanta Falcons, you've seen that the Atlanta Falcons could not get anything going on the offense, and you've seen that with the Philadelphia Eagles as well, where Frank Reich left the Indianapolis, or left the Philadelphia Eagles and went to the Indianapolis Colts, to be the head coach in Indy. The Colts are now in the playoffs, went 10-6, and six, and now the Eagles are having a hard time um, and having a hard, are having trouble scoring on the offensive side. Uh, but Eagles have finally kind of got it going towards later of the season and barely, barely, barely made it into the playoffs. But when an offense coordinator leaves a team, you see it most. Um, it's almost like they, the whole offense just downgrades, um, and, um, Falcons unloaded the house in Atlanta and got rid of uh, their offense coordinator, Steve Sarkisian, and their defense coordinator, Mark Ann Manuel, um, I do know that there was a report that came out that said Dan Quinn was going to take over and be the defensive coordinator um, and not hire his own defensive coordinator. If you guys do not know, Dan Quinn uh, was the Seattle Seahawks defensive coordinator, coordinator uh, before taking the Atlanta Falcons head coach job. So he knows what defense is. He's a great defensive mind coach, and he's going to end up running the defense on his own uh, in, the, in the next season. So all they have to do now is search for a offensive coordinator, in which they probably obviously will do. Um, so yeah, uh, Falcons unload the house, clean up the house, clean their coaching staff, uh, basically clean their coordinators and fire, uh, Steve Sarkisian and Mark Hand Manuel. Um, and they went seven and nine. So it does say right here, head coach Dan Quinn will serve as the defense coordinator moving forward. The team announced Monday. So like I said, Dan Quinn is going to be taking over the defense coordinator position on his own while, um, they're they're going to be searching for a uh, offensive coordinator. So, again, Adam Gase was fired today by the Miami Dolphins. A surprise firing to me. I could see Adam Gase going to Atlanta and coaching as the offensive coordinator, um, and which would be perfect for the Atlanta Falcons because they have a great offense and a great defense. And I think that this year was just it, it maybe was just their coordinators they had. So, um. Yeah, I, I just don't think those coordinators they had, Mark Ann Manuel and Steve Stark, Sarkisian, or however you say his name, I cannot pronounce it. Is it Steve Sarkisian? Steve Sarkisian, what I, I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, uh, Steve, Sark, Steve Sarkisian was just not able to do it. Their defense coordinator wasn't all that good this year, so they just unloaded the house and fired their coordinator. So that being said, um, any breaking NFL news, that you want to keep up with, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'll be covering it all, off-season news, trades, uh, firings, hirings. Um, so if you guys are NFL fans, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you guys are 49er fans, definitely subscribe because I cover the Niners more than anything on this channel. Although, 
I mean, I have been uploading lately, you know, different teams, post games, and stuff like that. But now we're into the playoffs, and this channel is going to be based around completely the NFL and different NFL teams. So make sure you guys subscribe. And yeah, Falcons unload the house, get rid of Steve Sarkin Sand, their offense coordinator, and um, Mark Ann Manuel, their defense coordinator. The, their defensive coordinator. With that being said, go Niners.